Hi, this is Jonathan. How are you guys doing? Today we're going to feature a very uh, special guitar. So this is from a guitar builder called Jason Schroeder. This is the Chopper TL.
want to thank Clement from Guitar Seven Seven Plus for passing me this guitar for review. Um, okay, so I am really impressed with this guitar. Now, some of you guys may be asking me. A lot of you guys, or a couple of guys, have asked me about why I, I like every guitar. You know that you know every guitar sounds really good in your channel and everything. It's because those guitars that doesn't play well and sound good, I won't feature in this channel in the first place. So the guitars that I feature in this channel are mostly playable, likable by me. So this is no different. I really like this guitar a lot. All right. So this is like a tally, almost like a tally. This is Jason Schroeder's take on a tally, and I love it. I love it. So it features a, a pine body. This is the Shasta, Shasta pine body with this incredible orangey finish. I, have not, I don't have a lot of details, okay, to tell you the truth. I do not have this uh, finish, the name of this finish, but it's really nice. You have a whole piece of Indian rosewood neck as well as the fretboard. All right. Now again, I do not have the details for the frets. Um, they do look like normal frets, or maybe they are stainless steel. But I know they are medium jumbo. You have a bone nut of a nut with a forty-three mm. You have um, this uh, Goto vintage style tuners with a black tusk uh, string tree. Now I do not know whether this black tusk string tree has been installed by the previous owner. Yes, this uh, guitar is pre-loved. Uh, but I believe the original string tree is not like this, all right, according to the website, which I've uh, checked out. Uh, you have this very nice contour over here, which I absolutely love. Right? And you also have a neck shape that is called a medium thick C shape. Yes, it's a chunk. Yeah, as it goes down, it, it kind of tapers off really nicely. But right here, yeah, you can feel it, you know. But it's nice, you know. I do not know about the fret radius. I'm guessing 10 to 12, yeah, um, yeah, that's about it. You have a four screw neck joint, really nice, string through, right? And then you have a three-way pickup selector switch, uh, typical of any tally, you have one tone and one, uh, sorry, one tone and one volume. Now these are the now the metal now type of, uh, of a knob, which I really like. Um, you have a big like uh, pick guard. So for the pickups, you have a pair of Jason Lola special Telecaster pickups. So these pickups are slightly hotter than the traditional Tele pickups. And for the bridge, you have the shoulder uh, T style bridge uh, with brass compensated saddles. And then you have a uh, what you call it a S jack plate from shoulder, really unique. Right. Now, if you look closely, you can actually see the grain of the pine wood. Really nice, just right underneath the surface, right? Underneath the finish. Cool, right. How does it play? Now, this thick, or rather a medium uh, thick C shape, uh, it's, it's nice, you know, it's not uncomfortable. Um, when I first started playing this guitar, yeah, I felt a little bit of a strain. But after a while, a couple of minutes, you know, my muscle count loosen up and it's okay after that. I think this is a great sounding guitar, Probably, maybe because of the neck, I don't know, but it's just had that sound. Um, playability is no problem at all. The, um, the fret radius and the medium jumbo frets, no problem. You also have a very nice stable uh, bridge and, and saddle. So the guitar is really right there on the spot. It doesn't run like some guitars that I play, especially tallies. You know, given the fact that this has no tremolo system, um, but then when you do a lot of bendings and, and stuff like that, sometimes the tuning might run, but this is so stable. The tuning is, this is what impresses me the most, is the tuning stability of this guitar. And then comes um, the thing that really got me, the sound. So these uh, Lola's uh, Telecaster pickups, is the bomb, you know, I, I really like it. I'm, I'm, now I'm thinking of, like maybe I should purchase a, a set of this for my other Telecaster. Um, it just has that 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 um, warmness, it, it, it just feels right, you know. Um, the depth and everything, even on the bridge pickup, which sometimes may come out as really brittle and really biting. This bridge pickups is one of the best sounding bridge Tele pickups that I ever heard, bar none. Seriously, bar none. 
And、uh, I'm thinking like you know that's why they cost a lot. You know the lotus are not that cheap, so I can understand why they are up there because they sound really good.、Um, maybe it's a combination of the pine wood with the rosewood neck, and、um, I don't know. It could be a combination of all this,、uh, but this guitar just sounds really good. Right. So this is the first time I'm playing a Jason Schroeder、uh, a guitar for all that matter, a tally. I'm really impressed with this guitar, and this guitar is just perfect for country, perfect for blues, perfect for rock, even for rock. You know, no problem at all. Nice. Let me know what you think about this guitar. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. I want to hear from you. Guitar is available in Guitar Center Seven Plus Singapore. So if you're in Singapore,、uh, pop on down, give this a try. If you're not in Singapore, email Clement if you want to procure one of these. So I think this is、uh, yeah. It's kind of hard to find. I see a couple of posting on、uh, Reverb.、Um, yeah, if you're interested, you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. Press the bell for notification of future views. A follow will be part of Patreon to support this channel. I would appreciate it. I thank all my patrons for their wonderful love, their wonderful support and friendship. Thank you so much, guys. Meantime, take care of yourself, and I'll see you real soon. Ciao.